you know, just thinking about what you said before about the, the experience that you had in wanting to share that. We were, we were very, like, just enthralled by the, the many videos that you record, uh, recorded through uh, YouTube and just getting them out there. And I'm, yep. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, brushing your teeth, uh, wringing out a towel, yeah. uh, <laughs> playing guitar. It just seemed that there was so much more of that than we'd ever seen before. And I'm just wondering, you know, how that, why that had ever happened before? Why do you think that this is kind of like a, a, a crystallization of that whole experience sharing process? Part of it is because of technology. We had the capability on board with real-time downlink of video. It's a, it's a lot of bandwidth, but we uh, have that now on the space station that I can take a video, and it still takes several hours to downlink the video, but we have those several hours overnight, and I could load it up in the hopper and call down to Houston and say, hey, I've got a video to send down that I made about whatever, how I wash my hair, and they would send it down to the ground, and then the people at the Canadian Space Agency would take it, edit it down into a couple minutes, and be able to release it within a day or two. We couldn't do that on my previous space flights. We just didn't have the technology to do it. The other side was just personal motivation. Uh, I know from my experience talking uh, in schools and everywhere around the world that people are interested in people. They're interested in the minutia of how you actually do these things. What is it like? You know, what is it like to whatever? How do you take a bath? How do you? What's it like when you look out the window? How do you trim your mustache? What do you do up there? Just they want to see the differences. And I thought the most elegant example of that was two stu We had a national contest in Canada, a science contest, and I was expecting some pretty esoteric contests. But two young ladies on the East Coast said, what if you just wring out a towel? What will that look like? And I thought about it. I thought, that's going to be a nice little thought experiment, a little visual experiment. It's running behind you right now, in fact. And I knew what it was going to look like. But I just brought the towel right up close to the camera and started twisting it. And it's so non-intuitive. And therefore, it's so instructional as to what happens because the water... Uh, behaves so differently than everyone's experiences on Earth. It, it runs up my hands and, and looks like a, a bunch of jelly and stuff. It's just so everybody, became, and millions and millions and millions of people looked at it. And it was that type of motivation of, of showing people what it's really like because when you see in a new frontier what it's really like, it, it makes you think an original thought. And that is a real benefit. And the, and the the aim of me putting all those videos together. And I was just delighted with the huge level of response that came as a result. Space.com.